top 10 points of today's murli the father sits here and explains to you children the iron aged impure and corrupt world is called a world of sin whereas the golden aged pure and elevated world is called a world of charity only the supreme soul comes and makes you into pure and charitable souls and creates the world of charity here you have to donate everything including your bodies minds and wealth to the purifier father he then makes you into the future masters of heaven you have to remember the father and the inheritance for by doing so the whole cycle enters your intellect the father says to you children remember the place you came from and your final thoughts will lead you to your destination it is only the task of the supreme father the supreme soul and not a human being to make the impure world pure and change the iron age into the golden age only the brides whose lamps are ignited will go back with the bridegroom those whose lamps are extinguished will not go with him while living at home with your families you have to make effort to remove your intellects from all your bodily relations and connect them to the father so that at the end you only remember him it is only by following shrimat that you receive a kingdom if you don't follow shrimat you will eventually be finished you have to explain very tactfully just as a mouse blows before it bites today baba tell about kumaris that is you little kumaris can perform wonders baba is not saying this to just one but to all of you kumaris thousands will come and fall at your feet not as many would fall at their feet as would fall at your feet always kumaris dedicate their life to one baba they have loyalty with baba kumaris are very powerful what kind of powerful that is amazing they can make defeated like the bhishma pita also no one can defeat the kumaris that much power they have kumaris life means that is carefree life they haven't any kind of sadness they have no need to look their home and family kumaris means freedom there is no bondages no one can try to defend their life with bondages kumaris are the roaring lions kumaris power is their celibacy what extent they have power of celibacy that extent others bow down kumaris life is the fortunate life what they like they can make it kumaris get more benefit through their power of celibacy that power of purity and power of celibacy is the reason kumaris are respect by the world and the world will bow down this is why baba always give importance to the kumaris because they have power of celibacy and that is the, their protect zone Om Shanti